Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to freeze frame a clip or add a frame hold. So with my clip on the timeline, I want to find the section of the clip that I want to pause for a second. Let's say you are telling a story and you wanted to stop at a certain moment and point something out or explain something and freeze the frame. So in order to do this, you find the spot on the clip that you want to stop. So let's say I want to stop right here. Then you can right click on the clip and choose insert frame hold segment. Now what that does is it adds a two second frame hold or kind of like a freeze frame and then it continues playing the clip as normal. So this is what that would look like. You've got the clip playing as normal then it stops and you can say look at that and then the clip continues as usual. Now if you want to make it longer than two seconds simply move your clips apart to allow for more room you could see on that plus size how many seconds you're moving it forward so that's four seconds about and then you can extend this clip out or in to make it longer or shorter depending on how long you want to narrate over it or how long you want to have the frame be frozen alternatively if you right click on the clip at any point and instead of choosing the insert frame hold you choose add frame hold it cuts the clip at that point and then the rest of the clip becomes a frame hold. So that can be useful near the end of clips if you didn't want to insert a segment and you just wanted the rest of the clip to be a freeze frame. And lastly, a quick tip um, that kind of relates to this but not exactly is whenever you're scrubbing through the clip on a timeline, if you click this button right here, export frame, or you can use the shortcut shift E, you can export a single frame and save it as a JPEG or PNG on your desktop or you can import it into the project as well and then you should see it in your project media bin but then you could drag the screenshot into your project you can tell it's a screenshot because it's purple instead of blue and you could use these to blend things or act as your freeze frame and it's generally pretty useful to be able to export a frame from the clip I use it for YouTube thumbnails all the time I'll export a, a frame and then take it into Photoshop and make it a thumbnail so get creative with your freeze frames. You can even add sound effects and arrows and other images you pull from the internet or make in Photoshop to really help you with your storytelling and spice up your projects and up your editing. So if you guys like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and let me know what you thought in the comments. Check out my channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials in a playlist and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all types of new creative videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.